really want to start with a sincere uh, congrats. I thought you did such great work in this. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's very kind. Uh, so uh, you've done some really cool work the last few years. And I'm just curious if someone's actually never seen anything you've done before, uh, what is the first thing you'd like them watching and why? Oh, that's a good question. Well, I don't want to scare them off, you know, like, like I don't, I don't want them to not be intrigued about the others. So I think a good light one that is fun and enjoyable and shows just how bizarre my choices are would probably be, I'd start them with fighting with my family. Yeah. That's also quite good. <laughs> yeah. I think that's a, it's a good one that people can laugh at and be like, Oh, that's interesting. Jumping into why I get to talk to you, um, trying to depict addiction on screen and make it realistic. Uh, it, it can be the third rail. Cause if it's not real, this is a disaster. Yeah. Um, and so I'm curious, was there any hesitation on your part on playing this role because it's, you know, it's going to require a lot out of you. And if it doesn't work, it's real bad. Yeah, you're right. If it doesn't work, it's offensive. It's disrespectful. It's embarrassing. It's uh, all the awful things that an, an actor, performer or a director never wants to feel. Um, I think that's why it is so crucial that we did deep, deep, deep diving and deep background checks on what it is that these people are going through. You can't make a movie like this with this topic and this uh, this unbelievably sensitive and delicate storyline without doing our research and without talking to the right people. And that's just something that I, you know, it was obvious that you need to do. For me, um, as an actor, I, I need to get into the physicalities of a character. Um, that's how I kind of get into who they are and how they walk and how they hold themselves. And especially for someone battling um, uh, an opiate addiction, I needed to understand the drug. I needed to understand uh, how it makes people feel when they have it, when they don't have it, uh, how it affects your life um, in in all the positive and negative ways. And so that was something that I, I took very seriously. Um, and understanding the pain, the sheer physical pain that you are actually in, you know, you need this thing. And if you have this thing, everything is fixed and you feel better. And everything up until that point of having it is agony, sheer pain. Your skin is itching. Um, you are absolutely ill. And the one thing that can save you is this, this little thing. And so for me, uh, yeah, I just, I asked a lot of questions and practiced the physicality. And I think also just one more thing regarding recovery, like it's not, it's not one clean, easy line of like, oh, you get to rock bottom and then you fix yourself or, oh, you're here and then you get worse. It's, it's a roller coaster. It's up, it's down. There are peaks, there are troughs. It's never obvious what's going to happen next. And I think that's just so important to highlight. And especially in our movie, I think we do a, a good job of it is that it's you you don't know which way it's going to go. And that's why it's so hard to overcome. Yeah, there's a line in the film. Uh, I've I've known people with addiction uh, issues and there's a line in the film where Zoe says to you, uh, you know, I've I've there are people that have made it and there are other people that have died. And, yeah. you know, um, and it's very, very accurate. Yeah. You know, Um. Uh, when you were looking at the schedule and you saw everything you had to do, what was the day you had circled like, oh, this is going to be a really bad day? Never. Oh, really? Never. I um, I thrive under pressure and I love being put to the test. And I completely come alive when we are telling a story uh, in a short amount of time. <laughs> sure. And I... I love a uh, a short shoot. I find it exhilarating and thrilling and everybody is so focused because we need to get it done. And, you know, this is how I, I grew up in the industry. This is how I learned was small indies with not a lot of time, tiny budget, an amazing cast and a fantastic crew and you've just got to make it work. And I think for me, I love the aspect of filmmaking. There's nowhere to hide. There's no day that you can figure something out. If you don't get it, you lose it from the movie. And that's how I learn. And I, uh, I, I really like stepping up to the challenge with these kind of movies. What was it like filming the cutting? Actually, yeah, I was going to say of the cutting of your hair, because you obviously have like one take to get it. I was so excited. 
I was so excited. It was my, it was a, an idea I had that I wanted her to, I wanted us to meet her a year later and her be a completely changed person and her actually willingly chopping that piece of herself off. Um, and I was so pumped. I was so excited to chop it because then I really felt like I could get into Alison. Like I knew that once that hair was gone, like I knew exactly, I felt her, I was her. Um, and I was so excited to do it. And I was so excited to do it on camera. Zach was totally terrified. I mean, he, the morning of and the week before, he was trying to give me so many outs. He was like, you know, we can get a wig. We could do this. You don't have to do it. And I was like, nope. I'm so excited to do it. And even on the day, crew members were coming up to me like, are you sure you're okay? Like, are you sure that you want to do this? And I was, it was, it was um, thrilling. It was like, it was, we finally got to be with the real Allison. I'm just about out of time with you, but I'm a huge fan of Denis and Greg yeah. Frazier. And uh, you got to collaborate with both on the, the Dune sequel. I just want to know what that experience was like and what can you tease about arguably my most anticipated film of the year? I can't tease anything other than the fact that I feel very lucky to be a part of that cast. Um, when I started meeting everyone, I was just taking everybody's faces in and going, oh my God, I'm doing it. I'm here. And um, I have no idea what it's like. <laughs> I have no idea how the rest of the shoot went. Um, I'm just so thrilled to be a part of it. And that's unfortunately all I can give you. <laughs> It's totally cool. Um, I can't wait to see that film. And again, congrats on this. Wish you nothing but the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.